and we're making double chocolate brownies now. We have all our ingredients laid out because in class we have one, two, three, four, five ingredients to make our double chocolate brownie. And it's done by hand because we want, don't want to overbeat the flour and make it really tough. So this way we you know, make it really chewy and a little crunchy on the outside. So we're going to start with the butter. We're going to melt that with chocolate. So we're going to put the butter in. We're going to get our cream going there. And I use a whisk. There's two tools I use, a whisk and a whisk spoon. The whisk get the butter and the chocolate all melted, and then the beet in the eggs and the sugar. And then we use the wooden spoon to beat in the flour. So we use a very high-end chocolate. It's a Noel is the brand, but this is a 72% chocolate cocoa base. So it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it, and it doesn't have a lot of milk added in it. So we really love this chocolate. All right, now our butter is melted pretty well. And really important with chocolate, we do not want to burn the chocolate. So I'm going to put the chocolate in here. We're going to turn down the heat to a low heat. And then I'm going to start melting it. Now I'm going to pull it off the heat before we actually finish melting the chocolate. Because chocolate will burn at 86 degrees. We do not want it to go over 86. And then we're gonna see right away because the higher level of chocolate it starts melting right away. But we definitely want to be careful here with the chocolate and make sure that we do not burn the chocolate. We just want to get it so it melts. You can see that the higher level of chocolates are already nice and dark and shiny. And at this point, the chocolate's almost melted, and I'm going to add in our sugar. You kind of want to melt that sugar into the chocolate and the butter as well. And again, I'm really watching my heat underneath, and we're making sure that we do not take this over 86 degrees. And when it really starts melting, I'll just pull it right off the heat. Then the next step is going to be adding the eggs. And heat becomes really important with the eggs as well, because we want to temper in the eggs into the chocolate. We don't want to add eggs to really hot. So our eggs are at room temperature, and our chocolate's going to be a little bit cooler by the time we put the eggs in. I'm going to turn my heat off and pull it off. So, we're just melting that sugar and all that butter and all that chocolate. Okay, so now we have 12 eggs, a lot of eggs, but this is really what holds the chocolate and the flour together. So we got butter, we got chocolate, we have sugar, and now we're going to slowly temper in our eggs, I do one at a time. And as we're adding the egg in, it's actually cooling down the whole mixture as well. So this is called tempering in your eggs. If it was too hot, the eggs would scramble and you'd have a problem. So. We're adding our eggs in. It's going to make two batches of 9 by 13 pans, which we get 16 brownies out of, so that's 32 brownies out of this batch. Okay. So now we have our chocolate, sugar, butter melted, and our eggs nicely incorporated using a whisk. You can see that the batter's a little heavy, and it's just going to get heavier now. So we're going to switch our tools. This is the important part, believe it or not. And we're going to use a wooden spoon to beat in our flour so we don't overbeat it. And I'm going to do it for two minutes. I actually do time myself on this, and you'll see the change in the batter from this kind of smoother liquid beat to a thicker batter. So we're going to add in our flour. And then I just start kind of folding it in to incorporate it into the batter. 
And at this point, I'm going to start my timer. So it's two minutes. And at first, you just slowly bring it in, and you'll see I'll start picking up the speed on the on the uh, beating of the flour into the brownie mix. And I actually use two hands, and I use a spinning motion while also going around in a circle. And the mix will get really thick, and it'll also get um, really shiny. It's quite a workout. <laughs> it's quite a workout. Want to build those arm muscles? Eat some brownies. <laughs> Then you get to eat them and then you don't feel so guilty. <laughs> so we're at the one minute mark, so we still have a minute to go on this. But you can see that it's already starting to change. Here's my timer. I'm going to keep feeding it just a little bit more. Really, really good. And there we have it. <laughs> Brownie mix. <laughs>